Let's try on is crushing it. Those are cute. Good morning, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelly Yeager, for those of you who are new here. I do a Lululemon haul every single month. Sometimes it is category related or just like new try on, new items. That's what this video was. I put a box on Instagram. You gave me lots of new items to try, which thankfully they had lots to choose from. And I'm just gonna give a little spoiler. There are no misses in here which is saying a lot because there was a couple items I was very worried about. I'm not a trendy person. Some of the wide leg pants are getting very wide for me, maybe a little too wide. Apparently not, apparently not. So sit back, relax, enjoy, because we've got lots of new items that in my opinion are fabulous. First, I want to say thank you to Lululemon for sponsoring this video. Without them, these videos would not be possible. I know you love them, I love them. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lululemon for letting me do these try-ons, trying all the amazing clothes, giving all the reviews for you. I appreciate it. And uh, second thing, I sound very congested because I am very congested. I was only planning on doing the try-on of this today, not the like sit down talking portion, but I got so fired up after trying all of these items, I was like, you know what, we're just doing it. We're doing it, we're doing it because I'm excited and I wanna wear this stuff. I don't just want it to be sitting up here hanging, waiting to be worn. Technically this first item is a part of the try on, so I'm gonna talk about it really quick, but the free to be wild bra is one of my absolute favorites. Very light support, is intended for an A to B cup, so once again, light support, smaller chests. It, I think that this is still one of their most popular bras. The Energy bra might still top it just because it's a little bit more basic, but you and it gives a little bit more support and you still get the straps. I just love the straps on this one. I have the most of this bra, hands down. I absolutely love it. This is the new Jade Gray color. I feel like it pairs so well with all of the items you're about to see or all of the colors you're about to see. Very earthy, very neutral. So. Light support bra, I love this. I can wear this for just about anything. I do wear this for just about anything and, and I love it so much. So not much to say about this. This is mainly just to pair with the other items, but Jade Gray, I love this color. Okay, moving on to the new items, getting into the thick of the actual try-on. These new materials are just phenomenal. This is the Soft Knit Crew Neck Cropped Tank in the color Legacy Green. I love the Legacy Green. I've tried so many of their bottoms in Legacy Green. The leggings are beautiful. And I figured it would be nice to actually have some tops to do some matching sets. And can you just imagine the Jade Gray little pop of color with the Legacy Green? Once again, beautiful, I love it. The thing I would probably compare this to like softness wise is just their Wondermost items that like super, super, super soft, really thin Nulu feel. Um, very lightweight, it has the cute V detail in the back and it has the really deep armholes. So it's just not restricting, it's very comfortable. But the V in the back does kind of bring the waist in a little bit. I liked this a lot, I got my true size six. There's no built-in bra or anything, obviously you just layer it. This was great over the Free To Be Wild bra. This material is, 10 out of 10, I wouldn't change anything. So soft, so stretchy. And once again, just very lightweight. So I feel like this is great for wearing to and from the gym, working out in it, wearing around athleisurely. I wouldn't change anything about this. I would definitely stick with your true size. I feel like it fits great. Moving right along, we have the Jersey training short sleeve. This is an oversized t-shirt. I got a size six, so my true size. I definitely didn't need to go up a size to get that oversized fit. It looks a lot like a men's t-shirt, which I love. I am constantly wearing Chris's men's Lulu items because they're just great. There's, oh, he, there's a bunch of different ones. The fundamental, fundamental tees are great, but in their soft jersey items are also amazing. But this is like the women's version of that and I felt like it looked really flattering. Once again, I loved the color. Lots of coverage obviously, but still nice and lightweight, comfortable, breathable, and nice and stretchy. Not much else to say about this. It's a basic oversized t-shirt, but it is very comfortable. Their jersey materials are all really soft. It's not as soft as the other one that I tried, the one before this but it is very similar. The material is almost a little bit sheer, so it is definitely thin. Not gonna be super warm or anything like that, but I liked this a lot. And once again, I don't think you need to go up a size to get that oversized look. You totally could, but I was really happy with my size six. This is the only thing in this try-on that I have tried before. Their scubas have obviously been around for a while now. 
but I thought this crew neck was adorable and I love the color and same thing they're earthy tones right now I feel like just all pair really really well together so I thought that this would look cute with some of the bottoms I got. This is the scuba oversized pullover. I got it in a size medium large. I always used to get extra small smalls. They do fit, but I have longer limbs. And I've realized recently that I tend to gravitate towards my medium larges more than my extra small smalls. Unfortunate because I have more of the smaller sizes, but it is what it is. You live and you learn. But I love the Lululemon logo on here and just the good oversized nice sweatshirt to throw on, go into the gym, wearing around trying to be comfy. In true scuba fashion, they have the thumb hole there. Very nice and comfy. That's the main thing. I wouldn't use my thumb holes on my extra small smalls because it was pulling on my arm. The, lar the medium large actually has enough room in the arm for me to wear those comfortably and it's not digging in. They have a good sizing chart that I would check out before you purchase, especially if you want it to fit true to size. Um, it breaks down like two, four, six, I believe is extra small small. I'm a size six in a lot of items, so I kind of fall in between. I can wear both, so it just kind of depends what you prefer, but I would check out the sizing chart, and if you have any other questions, comment down below. I can try to help you. This community can try to help you. I know a lot of us love Lululemon here, have tried a lot of their items, and we can all help out with sizing down below. Um, but I prefer the medium large in this, and it's great. This next set, I'm gonna talk about it as the set because they go together, they look the exact same, and they're wonderful. We have the heavyweight fleece sweatpant and the heavyweight fleece hoodie. Love these so much. So many of you wanted to see this. I think this was the most requested item for this try on. And it was one that I was like, the sweatshirt I knew I would like. I've tried their heavyweight items before. I will say, I don't think this one is as warm as some of their other ones, which I personally preferred. I run hot. So some of the really heavyweight fleece items that they've done in the past, like where it's a really thick fleece on the inside, very comfortable and like great for wearing outside. But the second I come inside, I have to take it off. This is still thick. Don't get me wrong. Still comfy, still cozy, still going to keep you warm. And it has that fleece in there, but it didn't feel as thick as some of their other ones. I don't know if that's just me or maybe the way that this fit. I got a size medium in this for the same reason why I got the medium in the other one. I just wanted an oversized fit and I feel like it fits perfect. I get the right amount of coverage. It's not too baggy, but I love how simple it is. It just has the little Lululemon logo on the top corner, the big hood, and then you have the big kangaroo pocket. And then it also has a pocket within the pocket to secure whatever you need, the little mesh pocket. They have that in most of theirs. I definitely could have done a small if I didn't want it as oversized, but I'm glad I got the medium. I think I prefer the medium in this. Then the sweatpants. This was the one thing I was a little nervous about. I'm taller, I'm 5'8", and I feel like it's just hard with sweatpants. Like if they're supposed to be long and like touching the floor, they need to be doing that or else they look like floods. I run into that problem a lot. These ones online looked like they were intended to be a little bit shorter, like not touching the floor. And then I read the description and same thing. They, it said that they tapered them a little bit at the end. So it keeps it off the floor. So I was like, Ugh, are these going to be too short now to where it looks kind of like a Capri on me? Anyway, I was nervous about these. Didn't know if they, I would love them. And I love them. They fit so well. That hem at the bottom, I think looks very flattering. It has a very, straight look up and down and then right at the bottom of that hem it almost has just like a little curve to it i i don't know i feel like they look very flattering the waistband has a draw cord on the inside but otherwise it's just very seamless around the front and back which i love they have the big deep pockets like lululemon has and then yeah the bottom is just very basic i don't know how well you're able to see that but the little lululemon logo is actually fuzzy the slightest little detail that is just, I think really cute. So anyway, I tried that on together. I loved it. I loved it. I got a small in the sweatpants. They fit great. Waistband fits great. And a medium in the hoodie. Um, could have done a small, but I think I preferred the medium. I wasn't originally going to include this because I already reviewed this on Instagram, but this fleece for a basic fleece is also great. Kind of like what I was saying with those, I struggle with just running very hot and normally not really being able to wear fleeces like this inside because I just, I overheat and I'm not comfortable. This feels like it's a little bit thinner and perfect for fall, like the in-between season. And 
I, I just like this. I, I love how simple it is. The only thing I would change on this, um, the kangaroo pocket, I kind of wish it had zippers on the sides just because it's kind of silky in here. And I could feel, or I could see things kind of moving around a little bit. The pocket is nice and deep, so I feel like it'll be fine. Um, but yeah, that's literally the only thing I would change about this is like adding a zipper to the kangaroo pockets, but I like the minimal logo up there. And then it just has these small elastic bands um, on the bottom waistband and then the cuff. This is definitely more of an oversized fit, so I don't think you need to go up. I did not, my, si my true size six fit great. It was oversized enough um, that where you could obviously easily layer with it. Another win. Okay, so many of you wanted me to review these sweaters last year and Chris to review them last year. They're expensive and I just, I didn't because I also didn't really have pants to pair with them. But I got a specific pair of pants in this where I was like, you know what? The sweater would look cute, I think, I think. Um, so I got the alpaca wool blend cardigan sweater. I got a size small and I feel like it fit wonderfully. This does have an oversized fit to it, which once again, I personally like, I think it looked really cute. I tried it on just over my bra, which I feel like you could see a little bit, or I know you could see a little bit. Um, I would have something on different underneath, like a black camisole or something like that, just a black tank top but for the sake of just the try on, I thought it looked really cute. You're also getting a sneak peek at the bottoms that I was like shocked by, shocked by, we'll get to those later. Is it worth $148? I will leave that up to you. Um, I feel like for sweaters like this that are quality, you're gonna pay for it no matter where you're getting them from. It is definitely really nice and I always get a little nervous with sweaters like this if it's gonna be itchy or not. I don't think this one is itchy. Um, like I said, I would be totally comfortable just wearing a tank top underneath it in this. The size small fit really well, so once again, I don't think you need to go up a size in this one because it is already an oversized fit. Moving on to the bottoms, and oh my gosh, has Lululemon done something phenomenal that I think all of us were waiting for but didn't really know how it was gonna look. Not only did they bring back the Wonder Unders and the smooth cover material in the updated fit with the contoured stitching, they also brought it back in Nulu, a line material that we all love. This is the one that I'm including in here because they are my favorite, my favorite. I want all the colors that they have. I love them so much. So they brought them back in Nulu, which is the Align material. They brought them back in Everlux, which is the Wonder Train material. And they brought them back in Nulux. There we go my brain, new Lux, which is the fast and free material. So we have one amazing style pant, a very basic, just staple pant in four different materials. Nulu, Smooth Cover, Everlux, and New Lux. A material for whatever activity you're gonna be doing. So Nulu is once again their lowest compression material. It's meant for yoga, slow flow, day to day, just like overall comfort. It is very low support, like I said very stretchy. It just feels like a second skin on your body or just like kind of like naked sensation. Um, I get a size six. They fit me really well. The waistband definitely does taper in a little bit. I reviewed all of the materials on Instagram. So if you're interested, I have those all saved to a highlight. I might do a video eventually over all of them just so there's another spot to reference it. But um, that is on Instagram right now on my Closet by Kel account if you want to see that. All of them have this back pocket, which is really nice. So the waistband is definitely different than an Align pant. Keep that in mind. The waistband has a pocket similar to the Align mini flares, but the front waistband is still nice and flat, very comfortable. I loved the updated stitching um, when they brought back the Wonder Under smooth, smooth covers, but between those two materials, I will always prefer Nulu. It's just lighter weight. I think less hot. The smooth cover one is definitely a little bit thicker and a little bit more warm. Probably great for the colder months, um, but for day to day, I love the Nulu material. And the Wonder Unders in Nulu are just, they're great. They are great. Highly recommend if you're an Align person, if you love your Aligns like me, I would give them a, give them a try. I like the new stitching. Just feel like it makes your glutes look a little bit better, nice on your waist. I would never replace all of my aligned pants with these. I like both, 
but I, but I've been really gravitating towards these. They're great. Getting into some of the trendier items, um, most of them were the bottoms that I chose, but this is an OG pant in a trendier look. It is the Dance Studio Relaxed Fit Mid-Rise Cargo Jogger. I got them in a size small. Their Dance Studio bottoms have been around for so long and people absolutely love them. Um, they used to have lined, unlined, they might still have both, I haven't really paid attention because um, they haven't been my favorite, like I don't gravitate towards them. But then whenever I try them, I'm like, why have I not been wearing these more? They are so comfortable. So these aren't lined. They're nice and thin, nice and lightweight. And obviously it's a jogger, so it has a nice cuff at the bottom. But they are just like, <laughs> I've said lightweight so many times. They are so lightweight and comfortable. Like the perfect just wearing around casual pant. I would never work out in these, but I'm thinking like, I mean, I'm always like going to the grocery store, doing this, this, and this. I live in athleisure. I live in clothes like this. So I feel like you could easily dress them up a little bit if you wanted to. They have little butt pockets back here. Um, and then they have the big, deep pockets there. And then the cargo pockets, of course. This was the thing I was a little worried about. I'm like, am I gonna like the cargo look? I know that's coming back, but is it for me? I don't know. I'm pretty sure they also have cargo scuba, uh, yeah, scuba sweatpants cargo version right now. I did not get those to try. They also have like extra wide flare aligned pants right now. Is that right? I don't know. I There's a lot of stuff I need to try. There's so many new items right now. But anyway, Dance Studio Mid-Rise Cargo Jogger. Pleasantly surprised. Love them. I feel like I've been missing out. So comfortable, so cute. And I feel like you could just wear them all the time. You've heard me review, I think basically all of the soft stream items at this point, but these were new to me. These are the soft stream pin tuck mid rise pant regular length. I decided to go with a regular on these instead of the longs because I didn't want them too long and dragging on the ground to where like I couldn't wear them outside. But regulars usually run the risk of being too short on me. I feel like these fit me really, really well. I think they're so flattering. A comfy pant that gives a little bit of a dressier look because of this stitch down here or the pin tuck. I, I love these. I think they're super cute. The pockets are nice and deep, just like all of their other ones. You have the little hidden uh, mesh pocket in there as well. In the back, they have these little fake pockets. They're not actually pockets. They're not usable. Um, and then the waistband is just nice and flat. So there is a draw cord in there if you need to tighten it. I've said this before, but all of their soft stream bottoms, I think run, their waistbands run a little bit tighter. So if you are between sizes, I would try a size up just because for whatever reason, I think the waistband fits tighter. This did fit me really well. Um, I got a size small, like I think I said that. I don't know if I have it on video, but when I put these on for the first time, I audibly gasped. Oh. A dream. Wow, okay. This try on is crushing it! Because I was not expecting to like these. If you've tried their scuba material before, it is just a thick cotton fleece material. And with a wide leg, I'm like, are those just gonna look like really frumpy on me? Is it gonna be, I, I don't know. I didn't know what to expect. I love these sweatpants. These are the Scuba Mid-Rise Wide Leg Pant, once again, in the regular length, because once again, I feel like they fit wonderful. I will report back after I wash and dry them. Definitely all of my Nulu material items and my Leica Cloud bras, like all of my more delicate items, I always hang dry. Um, and then my Scuba items, I also hang dry, but then I throw in the dryer just to like air fluff at the end because I feel like it makes them softer and less crunchy. I don't put them in the dryer the whole time. I do want to emphasize that, but I fluff them up after to make them softer. So I will report back. Hopefully they don't shrink or anything um, because these fit perfect right now. Just like all the other scuba materials, it is that really soft fleece on the inside. And yeah, they're just great. It is a wide leg sweatpant that I think is so cute. I just thought my whole like body and shape was gonna get lost in the pant, but I feel like your booty still looks kinda cute. And I feel like it's still really flattering and obviously wide leg pants are the trend right now. Something that I didn't think I would ever get into. That's not true. I like my aligned pant wide legs, but like the, 
The pants that you're gonna see next, or I guess that you saw with the alpaca sweater, I would have never thought I would like a pair of pants like that. But here we are. These, great. Size small, fit me perfect. Um, once again, I'm a size six in leggings, all Lululemon bottoms, and the smalls fit me wonderfully across the board. The pair of pants that shocked me that you already got a sneak peek of. These are the City Sleek Utilitech X Wide Leg Pant Regular. I got them in a size 27. Aside from the overall like pant itself, making me a little nervous, anytime the sizing, like a pant sizing, 26, 27, 28, I'm still not freshly postpartum, but I'm almost eight months postpartum. And I feel like my body is still just constantly changing, trying to like get back to its norm. It's like happy place. And so yeah, sizing like this has just made me nervous and I've just kind of stayed away from it. But I feel like I have started to settle back into more of, I don't know, my like pre-pregnancy body, I guess. And so I got a size 27. They fit great. I followed the sizing chart. So once again, I would definitely recommend looking at that, especially for pants like this, or just go in store and try them on. Um, but the Utilitech material is so nice on these. I was expecting it to be more stiff. I don't know why. I felt Chris's pants are all amazing. Um, and the men's pants have a lot of the Utilitech. Anyway, so I should have known better. Shame on me, Kelly. However, these are great. The material is so nice, nice and lightweight, very comfortable. I can do high kicks in these. I tested out a toe touch. I should not have done that. Should not have done that, but I did. And it held up to all of the tests. So I don't know where I'm going to wear these, but I am going to wear these because they are cute. I tried them on with my little hold tight Henley. If you haven't tried any of their hold tight items, do yourself a favor and do it. They're like the perfect basic items. Um, so lightweight, very stretchy. Um, so I thought that this looked cute with it, but I did also pair the alpaca sweater cardigan with it. I thought they both looked really cute. Two butt pockets back here, black detail button and zipper, and then pockets are up here. I think when I tried them on, I was reaching down here for a pocket because <laughs> I don't wear pants like this often. Um, but there are big pockets. They're just up here. So, and you have belt loops if you want to put a belt on there. I don't even know that I own a belt anymore, which tells you how often I wear pants like this <laughs> or jeans. Not often at all. But these, out of everything in this haul, I was not expecting to like. I, it was me just trying it for you to give you a review. And here I am. Loving the wide leg pants, extra wide leg, extra wide leg pants. Okay, last but definitely not least, I have tried this before. Um, I don't know if I included it in a try on in here. I know I definitely reviewed it on Instagram, but a lot of you said you wanted to see it. This is the Align Cross Back Bodysuit 25 inch. If you've tried any of their Align bodysuits, they're all super comfortable. Um, they feel like the Align pant just over your whole body. The one thing that's very different about this one, obviously you have the really nice open back detailing. The straps are adjustable, which is really nice. But the main difference is that this, I think is their least compressive one because it doesn't have a built-in bra. The other ones all have the, essentially the, the top fits like an aligned tank because it is like an aligned tank. It has that whole built-in bra. So the torso is a little bit more compressive. Everything just feels like a little bit more secure. This is just one piece of that new material everywhere. So the same compression is in the legs. That's also in the top. Um, I tried it on over the free to be wild bra just so you could see how that would look. I don't tend to wear tops without bras. I just personally like having bras on with them. I feel more secure, feel more comfortable. And with like nursing, pumping, all of that, I feel like I need the extra uh, something there to catch milk. <laughs> But yeah, just keep that in mind. No built-in bra on this one. I do love the look of it. I think it's really flattering, but I don't find myself wearing my other one. I got it in a dark purple. It's really cute. I don't find myself wearing it often because it is missing the built-in bra, which I just personally gravitate towards. That is it for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Thank you for all of the suggestions on what items I should include in this haul. They are all winners. I am so impressed. 
I feel I ordered this for the wide leg pant. I was trying to recreate the extra wide leg pant. I was trying to recreate the outfit they had online and I'm pretty sure they showed it with this like insulated vest. I thought I ordered that. So once I get that, I will review that on Instagram, but wow. The scuba wide leg pant, so cute. The heavyweight fleece items, adorable. I love those sweatpants and that sweatshirt. Just the whole like blackout ninja moment, cute. The soft knit items, that tank top is so soft. So yeah, lots of winners, new items, new materials, colors, new wonder unders in all of the fabrics. What an, what an amazing idea, Lululemon. I've personally been waiting for something like that. I'm sure a lot of other people have. The pant itself I think is great. And then having all the different fabrics for people to choose whatever their favorite is, love it. Me personally, I love the Nulu ones. Out of the four fabrics, that one is my favorite in that pant. Um, they're great. I will have everything listed and linked down below. So if you have any questions, check down there, reach out to me on Instagram, and I will see you in the next video. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 girl. Who is she? She's a cutie. What? I, I love them. I love them. They're so thin and stretchy. Okay, wow, all right, Kelly, try on. Do the try on.